are in the Lake District National Park. I'm just leaving the campsite. I always park outside of the campsite because I like to get an early start and I don't like to wake people up with a car. So it's 7 a.m. and we are heading to the Langdales. Let's hit the road. It is a sun cream kind of day. I think yesterday I got slightly burned here, but I think I actually managed okay. So today I'm gonna take extra precautions. Two and a half liters should be okay. That feels heavy enough for a sunny day. <laughs> Jeez. It's all the water. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty folks, it is 10 past 8. Very good vibe in the car park, I have to be honest. Good, good conversations. I think people are in good spirits because of the sunshine. Anyway, so Old Dungeon Gill car park with the hotel heading on. First mission is to find the footpath that will take us up to the top of Bowfell. Once we're up there, we should be up there. <laughs> Let's see, I reckon it's around here somewhere, the footpath. Perfect. So if you're interested, car park's just there. Come over the bridge. This is the main road. The road now continues around to the left. We're going to go straight along this farm track. And that, my friends, is Bofau. And we're going to head right up that ridge back. It's a very, very impressive scene to be walking into this morning, just straight away from the car. Bosh, this wall of mountains towering above us, inviting us in. <sighs> You know, the Langdales is one of the most popular regions in the Lake District. So I'm expecting it to be quite busy today, but I'm actually gonna draw some comfort from that because they feel very intimidating for me. Um, reason why is I sort of have a scarred history here. So when I was doing my mountain leader training in 2015, um, summer ML, <laughs> came up in February and there was snow on the ground. I was totally unprepared, very new to the whole outdoor scene. And uh, just the guy who was training us, I don't know, I just, I felt very manipulated, very put down, very, made to feel very insecure in my abilities, um, made to feel stupid. That is not how <laughs> you should operate as a tutor or a teacher, but that's sort of what came my way. And we were going up Bofell to Three Tarns, did a wild camp there. I just had no clue really. Um, and I just, I found it really, really hard. Uh, not the going as such, but just how I was being made to feel. And I have to be honest, it sort of really crushed my sense of adventure for this region. But I think it's time to pull it back. It's 2021 now, and uh, I'm turning 25 this year. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think it's time to build a new relationship with these mountains. Let's uh, heal an old friendship and see, see if we can work together today to take some strides and steps in the direction of health and happiness. Easy does it now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Wow, it's uh, tiered. Almost like it's a weir. That's interesting. I followed the track to Stool End Farm, where the path went right through the yard. Look at this, just a farm overlooked by all these crags. Oh, that's cool. Great North Air Ambulance Service. Walkers of Great Langdale. Wow. 58,000 pounds they raised. A little donation pot. Jeez. Oh, just exciting. From here, my ascent up the band began. It was a long ridge that took me quickly high into the hills. Whoopsie. 
Look at that pico stickle. So distinctive, isn't it? We'll be up there later. Meanwhile, let's walk onwards with this incredible curtain of mountains all around us. You know, knowing that I was gonna come here today, I've given some thought to the experience that happened on my mountain leader training and can sort of own that it's one of those times that could have either made me or broken me. <laughs> And I think initially it broke me, you know. I was 18 years old. I had also just been kicked off my Duke of Edinburgh group because I had too too much knowledge, is a direct quote. Um, so basically, for those of you outside of the UK, DOV is a national scheme to get young people outside. There's bronze, silver and gold. It's uh, sort of outdoor activities combined with volunteering, combined with learning a skill, and uh, that didn't go to plan. <laughs> and um, basically, you know, just being shamed there and being shamed here was really tough. And that's 2015. It wasn't really until 2018 that I found my feet again, that I found my path. And so Wild was born. <laughs> and now I look back and actually I feel like it's an experience that's made me. Because I work a lot with people who are new to getting into the outdoors. I work with a lot of MLs, mountain leaders, and IMLs, international mountain leaders. You know, we look at coaching skills, we look at team building, we look at different learning styles. And, you know, my goal and vision is to make the outdoors more accessible for people for mental and physical health. That's what WILD is about, to build meaningful connections with each other and the natural world. And to do that, you have to take away the intimidation factor. You have to replace it with curiosity and adventure and excitement and you know life is just one big journey and being on the trail is an amazing metaphor for that and those were some some tough times as a young person when you're already insecure especially with mental health in the mix but nowadays it's like yeah I am who I am I can own that a lot easier I can own my journey a lot easier still on that process but I can and uh, I'm hoping that today, by reaching this spot and looping around, you know, I'll be able to feel even more comfortable in my own skin, even more comfortable and at peace with the journey that I've been on to get to where I am today. As a theory, anyway. Clearly being out in the mountains had got me all fired up. And so now that I talked my jaw off, I resolved to turn that passion into leg power. Pretty sure I'm looking out now over the ridge that we're going to take right the way around to Pico Stickle and we'll drop down to Stickle Tarn. As I say, I'm playing it by ear today. See how far we get. Check it out. Heading up into the coal now and the trail is right up to the top of Bofell. Looking forward to that. And of course, the behind views are uh, right now, right, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, at least there's a bit of a breeze. I'll take that. Oh, wow. Look at this view that's opening up. <laughs> Jeez, it's going to be so good from the top. And there's the three times. Look. This looks very different in the snow. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I think we ended up going up there. All right, look at this. Just a big old massive rock around here. And there's the summit just up there. Nearly there. The rocks here were absolutely striking, boasting clear volcanic strata and glacial striations. The primary rock on Bofell is volcanoclastic sandstones, comprised of broken fragments of volcanic rock. And that, folks, is where my geological knowledge ends. But let's just say it was incredible. So 
there we go. Through the border field to reach the summit of both our 902 Sig Fires Mountain in the Lake District. Woo! Look at this! Yes. The views from the summit were intense, especially looking west towards Scarfell Pike and Broad Crag. All around was a sea of rock and moss and beauty, and I stopped for a fair while to soak it all in, before slapping on some sun cream and plodding onwards with my journey. So that was both fell, really quite a awe-inspiring summit actually, just very different to in particular the northern lakes, you know, um, which are much more rounded. Anyway, I'm following the line of cairns through this rocky barren wasteland, it feels like the bones of the mountains, <laughs> um, to find a path that'll see me drop down to Angle Tarn and then from there um, we can loop on round on our on our journey. It feels really weird to have actually just been up there, but good weird. <laughs> so ridiculous that that's Scarfell Pike right there. It's just absurd, you know. We're in the playground of these peaks. Just wow. <laughs> I'm struggling to keep moving. I keep just stopping and like. <laughs> Can you see all of the cairns ahead? There's one there, one there, one there, one there, and they continue right on down. There's S cows coming down. That's the path I took when I did Scarfell Pike. Check out that video if you haven't already. England's highest mountain. That's a very good route. Did it via the corridor route. Okay, that breeze is quite fresh now. <laughs> So this is the path following down, following around, and then we climb back up and continue on along here. Angle Tarn is one of two tarns with the same name in the Lake District. This particular Angle Tarn drains into Langstrath Beck, and Langstrath Valley is one of the longest valleys in the National Park. Overall, it was a picturesque place, somewhat buffeted by the wind and shadowed by the crags of Hanging Knots and Esk Pike. Look at this. It's a big old lump of rock, that. I had decided to follow a path across the moors, rather than over Rosset Pike and Mansey Pike, as I had previously walked that leg. And, soon enough, I was out on Mart Crag Moor, where Fix the Fells were working to prevent further erosion of the peat bogs in the area. Sure enough, it wasn't long before the unmistakable view of Pike Stickle revealed itself on the horizon. Now the name Piker Stickle is partly tautological, as stickle means a hill with a steep prominent top, and pike a hill with a peaked summit. Interesting, hey? <laughs> That's a little bit boggy. Look at this. Whoops. Try not to fall in that. <laughs> Never know, you might find Excalibur in there. found it to be a very serene experience walking across the open moors, as it was dotted with small bodies of water reflecting the clouds above, and cotton grass swayed gently in the breeze. Best of all, I was utterly alone, and it felt really good for me to have this chance to breathe and be 100% immersed in nature. It's got a bit of an intimidation factor, hasn't it? Just this lump of rock hanging off the edge of the mountain, even though it is a mountain. How does that work? Hanging off the edge of the world? I don't know. <laughs> it was here I began my ascent up the northwestern flanks of Piker Stickle. It was a little steep and scrambly in places, certainly something I didn't expect, but it also made for a really rewarding climb. I just couldn't wait to get to the top. Okay, 709, Pike and Stickle, skidoosh. 
Look at this. Wow. Righty, let's head down and then we're on to Loft Crag, Harrison, and then we loop right back round. So it's a long old day today, but we are getting there. This feels like a very pivotal point. I'm gonna watch my footing because a lot of this stone is quite worn away. So that means it's not as grippy as it could be. Ugh. So good to be out of the wind, I can tell you that. Um, to be fair, I've only just decided that this is what I'm going to do. I feel like since I'm up here, I may as well just complete the full round. So I was seriously just considering dropping down now and calling it a day. Um, you know, it's a couple of miles down into the valley and we're done. But they're just so close. And look at them. They just look amazing in this weather. So Loft and Harrison it is. Our summit ah, of Lost Crag. Oh, I broke the summit. Oops. <laughs> they just got shorter now. Harrison's stickle loomed high above me as I bridged the gap between the fells. It excited me as it represented a challenge, and I climbed slowly in the suffocating heat, always making progress, feeling my heart beat strong in my chest, just as I walked through the heart of the Lake District National Park. It's happening! The view is opening up! Woo! Come on, let's get to the job! Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. <sighs> Stick a ton down there, that's where we're headed. Oh my gosh, crazy view. Alright, let's get to the top. Move, 736. There ahead of me was Pavey Arc, home to many a good climbing and scrambling route, including Jake's Rake a grade one scramble within the capability of most walkers in good weather. It's uh, quite tricky in the wind to film things. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's get down this mountain and on to Pavey Arc. Ugh. Sounds like Noah's Ark. And then, what's this song? Oh, the, um, the animals go in two by two, hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> Oh jeez, I've lost the plot. This is sunstroke. It's a bit of a <laughs> which way? At least it's uh, grippy. Ugh. My head is full of like primary school songs now. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah. And then he's got, he's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> help people, help. <laughs> Nearly at the top. Here we go. Way. Whoo. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Come on. So, so amazing. Final peak of the day. We've done it. What an incredible round in the Langdales. Thank you, May. You have been kind. Tomorrow is the 1st of June. I think we've made the most of it. I'm, uh, I'm loath to leave this region. 
It has taken my breath away time and time again today. But at some point I gotta get down here. Ah, oh, thank you for this day. <laughs> oh, just, I feel full to the brim, man. Full to the brim. I feel like I'm going a bit of a ridiculous way. <laughs> yes, I am. A ridiculous way. There's the path. What am I doing up here? Steady does it then. At least it's just like solid rock, which is very grippy. So that's good. Unlike the other day when I temporarily got stuck on a <laughs> slab thing because it was so slippy. <laughs> wow, I've never gone that high in my life. I don't know what's happening. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna jump. Three, two, one. Oh. Good job, I don't need the toilet, isn't it? Here we go. We made it to the path. Now it is a steep descent down to Stickletan, and then we loop back round to the car. I am burnt. <laughs> I'm actually a bit dehydrated, uh, but otherwise I'm good. <laughs> I'm just actually not looking forward to this descent because it's just going down is, is not as fun as going up, in my opinion. So if we can make this a speedy one, eh? Oh, it looks such a long way, all the way down to there. How nice is this? Come down to the back, crossing over. Just beautiful. Oh, jeez. And those fells just looming above us. They're quite uh, monstrous, aren't they? Every time I walk down to Stikwatan, I always feel it feels like something out of The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings. It is just spectacular here <sighs> makes me quite emotional actually and breathe <laughs> Stickle Tarn is a popular spot in the Lake District and it's easy to see why for many reaching this point is an adventure itself and what an epic place to end up and enjoy a picnic in 1838 the Tarn was actually enlarged to supply water for those living in Langdale so please if you do visit Make sure to leave no trace. There we go, you can see the path zigzags down and then we're going to have to just walk along the, the valley for a little bit, I think. <sighs> pulley, pulley. Slowly, slowly. The path ran parallel with Stickle Gill which, in wetter weather, offers waterfalls cascading down the hillside. Given the exceptionally dry summer we were experiencing in the UK, I was at least pleased to see there was a half-decent flow rate, despite the drought. Trees! Haven't seen them for a bit. by peaks it has been a good day well i think this is a very appropriate place for me to wrap up today's video i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have just bombing about the langdale peaks it has been just the most amazing day <laughs> um, on every level the weather the views the company of all the different people i've been able to chat to Oh, geez, just everything. I, I feel like I'm going to need a day or two just to digest what has happened today. Um, absolutely, my relationship with this area of the lakes has been not only healed, <laughs> but uh, just rebuilt and restored to a level I never even knew was possible. I'm feeling very connected to who I am as a person, to my values, to my beliefs and my goals and visions. And for me, that's one of the things mountains help me to do or times in the mountains helps me to do. 
is just come back to who I am, where I'm going, where we're steering wild, the impact that we can have on the people around us, both near and far. It all happens right here on the ground. So guys, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been inspired to head out to some peak, some fell, some coastal landscape, wherever it is that has been calling to you for a while to heal those relationships or build brand new ones and uh, enjoy those adventures. Until next time, stay wild. I'll see you soon.